Mr. Speaker, I rise today to honor the incredible life of General John W. Vesey, Jr. Just 16 years old when he lied about his age and enlisted as a private in the Minnesota National Guard, John Vesey quickly found himself on the front lines in World War II. It didn't take long for John to distinguish himself as a war hero, and in 1944, he received a battlefield commission. General Vesey's military career didn't end with his service in World War II. More than two decades later, he also served in Vietnam. In 1982, General Vesey was chosen as the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff by President Ronald Reagan due to his impressive reputation for high integrity and strong character. Some of us might remember General Vesey for becoming our nation's longest serving active soldier, but most of us will remember him for the work he did for his fellow soldiers. President Reagan once called him a soldier's soldier, which he undoubtedly was, as he never forgot about the men who stood next to him in battle, including the ones who never made it home. This was proven by his advocacy for MIA POW issues, for which he was awarded the Presidential Medal of Freedom in 1992. General John W. Vesey, Jr. was a true Minnesota hero, and he's a legend. We were lucky to have him, and while he will be missed, he will never be forgotten.